Everybody's ready for story time! Makato! Last time, Mina Shirakawa got her fucking face smashed in by Sayaka Matani, and she started walking around wearing bandages over her face like she's dark, man, because, look, Sayaka Matani may be a very dramatic wrestler, but Mina Shirakawa has the most dramatic reactions to anything that slights her at the slightest. Becoming that Twilight Zone episode with the bandaged dude with her face buried behind the veil of mystery. Mina took the time to form a new personality. What is this, Gen Z Twitter? Because she was once slighted by Tam and became the sexy thirst trap, the bloody angel. But it didn't work. Then Thecla made fun of her boobas, so she became the sexy spider that trapped the toxic spider in her web of boobas. But it didn't work. Then Mirai rejected her gift, and she snapped back into the bloody angel to take vengeance upon Mirai with pure sexiness. But it didn't work. And then Mina noticed Himeka being all sexy and challenged her to a sexiness off, but Himeka big girled on her, forcing Mina to once again snap into a new personality, wearing a headband to highlight the spirit of the boobas. But it didn't work. So she started a mini feud with her own partner Unagi over the utilitarian nature of their boobas. And it led to not one, but two water guns fights and Unagi stealing all of Cosmic Angel's tops for America. But once again, she didn't win. But a bigger issue entered Mina Shirakawa's life and she spent months avoiding the issue until she had no choice. Tam Nakano chose Nuts Poi as her tag team partner instead of her. Poi was able to beat Tam and elevate both of their games into goddesshood. But Mina is known as the boob girl. She had to change something. So during the five star, Mina Shirakawa killed the sexy spider and concentrated on becoming a better wrestler, and she not only succeeded in this result, beating Sayaka Matani cleanly to disrupt her tournament, she is easily the most improved wrestler of 2022. At the finals of the five star, Mina Shirakawa proved to everyone that Poi cannot beat her, but she didn't need to prove it to Tam Nakano anymore. She only needed to prove it to herself. With such a boost in confidence, Mina Shirakawa had finally won. And she evolved into the Venus, a confident, strong style Mina, whose new destiny rests for the white belt. But unfortunately, an ugly accident happened, and Mina got her teeth knocked out, but went to Brick Baker for an appointment, but the girl was overpriced because she's overrated as fuck. She would deliver a beautiful promo afterwards, but her brain was already scrambled and she'd be looking like the invisible woman. Underneath the bandages, Jekyll and Hyde vibes, yo. New personality, here we come. Mina is returning with her best friend Unagi as Pink Kabuki on the Queendom show at the end of the year to face her old rival, the one she tried to crush with her boobas, the toxic spider. Thecla and her tag team badass champion of the cosmos, the ultimate warrior of history, the beholder of nine points of the five star with her deadly fists of frenzy, my Sakurai. Unagi herself did absolutely terrible at the five star and took it upon herself to travel to different promotions and optimize her build for better results. The Gion period lasted only a couple of months and the timing of such led to Unagi not being there when Mina's jaw was broken. But Mina's not gonna hold that against her, right? Mina's not gonna hold that against her, right? And Mina is back in a stardom ring, hiding her face and revealing just pure gorgeousness. 
rocking the bob like only Mina can, but she has two white girls with her. Zaya Brookside, who now my best friend is suddenly into starting for, of course the cute English girl, and Mariah May, who looks like an extra in white girls, but regardless, Mina Shirakawa is back and all is right in the world. In the ring, Mina showcasing her new strong style, her better wrestling techniques, her clear confidence, and Unagi does her best to assist as DDM attack her jaw, and Mina brilliantly sells the injury, highlighting her teeth since the start of her entrance to enhance this target. But the real interest comes to the rematch between Mina and Thekla. Thekla won their first bout, but Mina has changed. She's no longer the sexy spider and uses her combat arts in the vein of Kenta, her elbows, and her deadly enziguri. She eats a spear even and just powers up through it. And Mina finishes off her rival Thekla with a glamorous driver. Definitively beating the toxic spider with her main finish, Mina Shirakawa, the professional wrestler, has arrived. She's on a whole new level too, and she knows it, because immediately afterwards, it becomes clear on Mina's face that Mina is quite aware of what she must do. Unagi was away on her Gaian period and wasn't there for Mina Shirakawa. But remember, stardom is an anime, and that slight of friendship is enough to tip it over, because Mina attacks Unagi right afterwards, but it's not a vicious beatdown, it's not a statement, it's frustration. Mina declares that Pink Kabuki is over, because the new personality formed by Mina under the bandage was a sudden interest in speaking English, English Shirakawa, and because she's speaking English, she gathered her two new friends, sorry, at Brookside with a cute shoulder shuffle. And this girl from Pitch Perfect, Club Venus. Name aside, Mina has her own group now. Her partnership with Unagi is over. As she stands off to the side, crying her eyes out for what did she do wrong. Her arc is the same arc as Mina's. She wanted to get better as a professional wrestler, travel to other promotions to do so, and she comes back and her best friend scolds her for it. But what did Mina do? She did the exact same thing. The act crushes Unagi. But is this truly it? Is it truly just a portrayal and that's it? No, there's more to it. This isn't a turn, it's a slice of life movie. It's lost in translation. Two people meeting together in the strange world of Tam Nakano's cosmos and whose destiny lies outside. So their time together must end and it ends in a somber way. Because Unagi does only one thing to Mina. She whispers in her ear, just like this. This moment, it's the same. The exact same feeling. They would share another moment backstage as Unagi believes they can partner again and Mina whispers into Unagi's ear and she smiles. Stardom is an anime but this story is Violet Evergarden. It's just a slice of life. Two adults going their separate ways and even though it's not totally logical on Mina's end, getting your face smashed in and suddenly speaking English and hanging with two white girls and choosing to party with them over your own best friend is a totally Mina Shirakawa thing to do. Because this woman paints with all the colors of the wind and who is anyone to argue with her. But what does this mean for the future? of Mina Shirakawa. Either way, Mina and the white belt seem to be on a collision course and I'm all for it. Since covering Mina Shirakawa, she went from the ultra hot girl who goes crazy when she lusts to being ridiculous when people slight her and eventually deciding to get serious because the one she looked up to didn't see her in the same light. Mina Shirakawa is a very good professional wrestler. And Mina's arc into a credible wrestler who can take the white belt is a beautiful one.